Okay, so for question number nine, I am asking you to note that f of x is 2x minus 10, and that g of x is the quadratic x squared minus 3x minus 10. So when they ask for f of negative 2, you can put the 4 in the front of the whole problem because that's the coefficient, but you need to plug in a negative 2 for all the x's that appear on the right-hand side of f. If you can simplify that expression, that's the answer I'm looking for. So inside those parentheses, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, but negative 4 minus 10 gives you negative 14. And when you multiply them together, you get negative 56. For the second example, same concept, but you're going to put the coefficient in front, and then you're going to plug in the number 3 in for all the x's on the right-hand side of g. So it's 3 squared minus 3 times 3 minus 10. But when you look inside those brackets, because you're supposed to do that first, it is 2 times 3 squared is 9, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, minus 10. The negative 9s cancel, and you're left with figuring out what 2 times negative 10 is. And that is negative 20. Changing the problem a little bit because it's not a value you're putting in, it's an expression. This means fill in 3x squared, that monomial, into all the x's on the right-hand side of g. So 3x squared is going to be filled in every time I see an x. It's going to be just substituted in for it. So at this point, when you square, it becomes 9x to the fourth. When you multiply, it becomes 9x to the second, and then minus 10. And because they are not like terms, this is the answer for letter C. And now we're up to letter D, which I think I may need a little bit more room on, so I'll move it up so that I have some more room. expressions were, so maybe I should write them down so I don't forget. We'll put them over here. Um, f of x is going to be 2x minus 10, and g of x is going to be x squared minus 3x minus 10. Okay. So now we are looking from D, oh, and then H, okay, so here we go, here's D. All right, so for letter D, when I go back to it, your job is to fill in the binomial X plus H for all the X's that appear in G. So it's X plus H quantity squared minus three times X plus H minus 10. But then I'm asking you to subtract off the entire g of x, which is right there. Put it in parentheses because you're subtracting off the entire thing. And it tells you then divide the whole thing by the letter h. Now I don't know if I'm going to go too quickly for you, so if you need to actually write out the first expression twice, please do so. But when I multiply this out, and some of us can do it in our head, you get x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. If I went too quickly for you, please write it out twice and multiply it, and you'll get the same answer. Negative 3x, negative 3h, minus 10, and then make sure you distribute the negative 
throughout. So it's negative x squared, positive 3x, and positive 10. And in the end, you are still dividing that entire thing by the letter h. Now, when you look at the numerator, it is quite long, but I hope you realize that this x squared and this x squared cancel because the signs are different. This negative 3x and this positive 3x cancel, the signs are different, and this negative 10 and positive 10 cancel, the signs are different. And you'll notice you actually have three terms left. So what is left? Um, 2hx plus h squared minus 3h, all divided by h. But can't you do the division? Because on the left-hand side, you get 2x when you divide. In the middle, you get plus h when you divide. And on the far right, you get negative 3 when you divide. And that is the answer that I'm looking for for letter D. So what I will do is I will actually erase that section so I have room to do the rest of this page. But that's it for this one. So let me get rid of this. Okay, and then I will move it up. Okay, to finish up this page, going back to the black marker, f minus g of x means f of x minus g of x. So if I look to the left hand, to the right hand side in green, f of x is 2x minus 10. But when you want to subtract off g of x, you have to put it in parentheses because you have to subtract off all three of the pieces. You are looking at 2x minus 10, and when you distribute, you get negative x squared, you get positive 3x, and you get positive 10. And all I have to do is combine like terms, and then this problem is done. So there is only one x squared term, but there are two terms that are x terms here and here, and they add up to 5x. And there's two constants, a negative 10 and a positive 10 cancel out. So I guess this is just my answer. All right, we are up to letter F. In letter F, this is the products. It means f of x times g of x. And you may use the box method if you want, or you can just use double distributive. So this time I'm going to use double distributive. f of x is 2x minus 10, and g of x is x squared minus 3x minus 10. When you're doing the double distributive, you need to multiply here and here to get 2x to the third, here and here to get negative 6x to the second, here and here to get negative 20x, but you're not done. You also have to multiply through by a negative 10. That gives you negative 10x squared. That gives you positive 30 x, and finally, positive 100. If you combine like terms, that's your answer for letter F. So, combining like terms, there's only one x to the third term, but there are two terms that are x to the second, and they combine to negative 16 x to the second. There are two terms that are x terms, and they combine to positive 10 x, and finally, the constant is 100. So that's the answer for letter F. And I'm definitely running out of space to do the next two. So I'll erase this and then I'll move it up so that I can finish them. So 
I really do have three more questions for that. So let me finish them. Well, I think there's four actually. So when I'm doing the next one, it is division. It actually means f of x divided by g of x. However, you have to guarantee that g of x, because it's in the denominator, cannot equal to zero, because nowhere is that specified in the problem. So you have to put that in. So for letter G, okay, this is going to be f of x over g of x first, where the g of x is not equal to zero. You have to do this whole problem. So how do you do this problem? You factor the numerator because you want to reduce whenever possible. You factor the denominator and this portion gives you two over x plus two. And this is not a boxed off answer. This is just the beginning part. You also need the end part. So I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to do the second part. I'm looking for where x squared minus 3x minus 10, I'm going to say is not equal to 0, because that's what it says. When you factor the left-hand side, you're going to get x minus 3 and x I didn't mean that. X minus five and X plus two. X cannot equal five and X cannot equal negative two. That is the answer for this. So, what is the real answer to letter G? The real answer to letter G is 2 over x plus 2, where x is not equal to 5 and x is not equal to negative 2. That's the real answer. Okay, so I will do one more problem so this page is done, and then I'll start a new video. So let's get rid of, um, not everything, just the eraser, because I will need those equations right over there. Come on. Okay. All right, so I'm up to letter H, and we call this God of x, which is g of f of x. f of x is the inner function, obviously. g of x is the outer function, obviously. This means fill in the inner function for all the x's in the outer function. So I'm just going to do that. So changing the color, and here we go. Outer function, fill in the inner function. Outer function, fill in the inner function, the rest of the outer function. So I have the outer function, and I filled in the inner function for all the x's. Now, I'm running out of video time. So if you need to put this off to the side and do this in a box method or separately, please do so. 
but when you're done, your answer comes out to be 4x to the second power minus 40x plus 100. I'm telling you in advance, that's what it is. The distributive property gives me negative 6x, positive 30, and then I have that minus 10 at the end. Finally, my answer when combining like terms, negative 40 and negative 6 give me negative 46x, but 130 minus 10 is 120. And that's your answer.